we go. All right. Um, look who it is. Back on the show, in the flesh, on the couch, uh, Niagara Falls Mayor uh, Jim Dio Daddy. And you obviously watch the show because you see that I wear white kicks. What do you got on? Look at you. I got white kicks, too. Oh, wow. Good to see you. Well, we called last night. We wanted to coordinate. <laughs> I said, Timmy, what right. are you going to wear? Yeah. Well, looking good, Jim. Um, how's things doing? Uh, things are good. Can yeah. I start with a dad joke, Tim? Oh, I guess you're just going to do it anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I tested out my kids. They moaned, so I knew I had a winner. All right. What did the horse say when he tripped? I don't know. I've fallen, and I can't giddy up. <laughs> I got a moan. Yeah. I got a moan. <laughs> you know, Just remember that there. when you tell it later yeah, today. Right. Um, yeah, right. Okay, so where are we at? Where are we at? Because uh, so the fire ban affected you guys in, in the falls last week. It did, right? and we stopped doing the fireworks over the falls right. uh, for several days until the air quality cleared. But uh, now, as of uh, yesterday, we're now doing the fireworks at 10 p.m. every night throughout the summer. Throughout the summer. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to, before we get to the fun stuff. What's the, these EVUs? So uh, the VRU. VRU. VRU yeah. stands for vacation rental unit. Okay. And this this is an issue in the falls. Yes, it is because it's Niagara Falls. They're vac people from out of town will buy houses and they rent them out and they make some pretty good money but the problem is most of them are illegal we have more than a thousand illegal ones so we created a new online form where residents if you suspect that there's an illegal one in your neighborhood because they're not allowed in residential areas only tourist and commercial areas if they're doing them in the neighborhood you can either call the city hall the clerk's department by law or you can go online and report it and we'll investigate it and and if it turns out it is an illegal one uh, we'll notify the insurance company the mortgage holder and oftentimes we'll take them to court as well. How is it not illegal? Uh, well, it, it ha the only time it's legal is three things. It has to be in a certain zone, like I said, tourist or commercial. Okay. Second thing, it can't be more than three bedrooms. And third of all, you have to have a license. If you are operating a B and B, those are allowed anywhere in the city as a right with again three things number one you have to have no more than three bedrooms number two it has to be licensed and uh, number three it has to be owner occupied okay. we only allow it if you live in the house then it can be anywhere in the city okay. big things coming up though because uh, rotary rib fest is this weekend uh, this weekend, Father's Day weekend, it's very popular. So if you want to take Dad out, you want to help out the Rotary, who do so much for our community, it'll be at Rapids View Park, which is across the street from Marineland, and you'll be able to come out and eat all sorts of funnel cakes and ribs and corn and everything that everybody likes. Okay, so then, and then coming, we're not that far away from Canada Day. Canada Day is always epic in, in the falls. It, you know, it is. And, and typically, we used to have the big parade, Tim. What we're going to be doing this time, we're going to try something new at Fireman's Park in the north end of the city, beautiful 120-acre Carolina. Indian Forest Park. We're going to do a whole bunch of things from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. We're going to have uh, outdoor synthetic rink for skating, curling. We're going to have axe throwing, kids zone with bouncy castles. We're going to have a 50 uh, foot obstacle course, uh, food trucks, beer gardens, outdoor entertainment. It's going to be fun and we're going to have uh, tr uh, shuttles running from the McBain Community Center, from the Gale. You're smirking. I don't well, know why I'm you're just, I just wonder, I'm just wondering where you're going to be in all of that. Where I can find <laughs> well, what could the go mayor. Wrong? Beer garden axe throwing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, what could go wrong? Exactly. I don't right? know. <laughs> um, you've had some big people through town. So this past weekend was was cool because the Trailer Park Boys, because it was oh. Niagara Falls Comic Con. You got to you got to chit chat with Bubbles and uh, and Ricky and Julian and the lads. Yeah, we had all the boys. And uh, you know it's funny they asked because last year William Shatner was there. And we gave him the key to the city. And uh, they were saying, would you give them the key to the city? Well, we did something a little different because they were there supporting uh, mental health and PTSD. Uh, the flag was green. The falls, we turned green. And so when they said, what are you going to do for us? Well, we presented them a green key lime pie. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, Bubble, Bubble's reaction was the best. <laughs> so we, we gave him the key lime pie. They were hilarious. We had a lot of fun with them. Yeah, okay, good. Um, Trish Stratus, she, how did the Trailer Park Boys not get a key, but Trish gets a key? Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you, Tim. <laughs> so she, she put me in a headlock, clearly. I, I struggled as hard as I could, and I could not get free. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough job, Tim, yeah. but someone's got to do it. And you know, she's she's been she's amazing. You know, she's set new records uh, with WWE. Um, she's an advocate for so many good causes. Obviously, one of the judges on Canada's Got Talent. And what a sweetheart she is! Uh, she's got a big heart. She's a real wonderful person. And it's funny, her in-laws actually live in Niagara, yeah. so she spends a fair bit of time in Niagara. So amazing. yeah, my neck's still a little sore, but I'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, tough. You'll be I took one for the we, team. We, we, we feel bad for you. Okay. <laughs> Um, we got to go. Anything else? 
Anything well, else? you know, Ten we had J Jada Smith. Okay. Uh, she was the first girl to play on the boys' team in the Canada Summer Games. She throws in the 80s. We uh, dedicated a plaque to her. Uh, her ball, her first ball, is in the Canadian Sports Wall of Fame. So they asked if I would catch one of the pitches. I said, Jada, we're just playing catch. <laughs> she whizzed one in the 80s at me. I had no cage, no equipment. <laughs> I was dressed like this. <laughs> anyway, my hand's still but sore. But if there was a camera there, you were definitely there because you never miss a camera. We love you. We love <laughs> like having you. Thank you, buddy. We, we, love, like you. we love having you. Studio next. We'll see you. We'll see you. We'll see you in July as uh, things get going in Niagara Falls, summer of 2023. The mayor, Jim Diodati.